Hi. So in the previous session, what we did is uh, we created a Cosmos DB account called DB2018. And in that account, we created a database called DB532. And in that database, we created a collection and we were using SQL API. Now in this session, what we're going to do is using the C sharp code, uh, we'll be creating a new database and then adding a collection in the database. So uh, let's get back to the code here. I'll explain the code real quick and then we can jump. <clears throat> so uh, you remember that we had this endpoint URL and the primary key and the way to get the detail is from uh, the keys here. So this is your this is your URI and this is the primary key. You can also use connection string, but that's for something else. So let's go back to the database explorer. All right, so here you can see that we have this one database and uh, one collection. So let's go to the code here. And we have already copy pasted the endpoint URL and the primary key. Now you can see that in this program, what we are simply doing is we are creating program P in the main function and then we are calling it p.createDatabase and we are just waiting because this is an asynchronous function. So let's see what this create database is doing. Uh, we have this create database function. It's creating the client with the endpoint URL and the primary key. And it's saying that okay, it's connected to the database. Now uh, we are defining a database. Uh, we just let's give it a new name. So db23. Uh, and it's creating a database. And it's you know client.create database async. And we are just simply writing that database created successfully with the ID and uh, the self link. And then what we are doing is we are you know reading all the database and we are just writing it on the screen so let's try to run it and see if it works okay so cosmos db connected successfully okay so you see that it has created the database and reading all the database and you can see that we have this db532 created and this db23 which we have just created so let's go back to the azure and uh, refresh it all right and you can see that we have this db23 created now in the next session uh, what we're going to do is we're going to you know add collection in this db and then access that collection thank you